Well, as part of our effort to bring you the facts and dispel rumors during this pandemic, we are talking with local leaders about the response to the coronavirus pandemic. Joining us via Zoom this afternoon is Dane County Executive Joe Parisi about what the county is doing to keep residents safe and healthy. Joe, thanks for being with us today. Thanks for having me. There are 72 confirmed cases in Dane County now. What is being done to stop or to slow the spread? Well, as you know, we've taken very aggressive action to achieve social distancing. Um, it's it's what ramped up a great deal today um, by the governor, and this should help us hopefully get ahead of the curve and work to flatten the curve, which has become you know, a saying that we're all becoming more and more familiar with. Um, since there's not a vaccine, there's not a cure, the most important thing we can do is adhere to the social distancing rules. Since the governor ordered the safer at home starting tomorrow at eight o'clock, what is considered essential when it comes to your department? Well, we, we have a lot of essential services. We have a nursing home, we have first responders. Um, a lot of our focus is on protecting vulnerable populations. We've been doing a lot of work to protect our homeless population and to help them achieve better social distancing. We've rented 100 hotel rooms and we've moved families experiencing homelessness into hotel rooms. We've moved um, some of the folks who are the most vulnerable um, to, to, to COVID-19 to hotel rooms. And we're working um, with the city at the moment, identifying additional shelter spaces so that we can achieve even more social distancing for the folks who are still staying at our shelters. Um, and we also have a, a focus on our elderly um, population. We usually serve about 3,000 meals, various senior centers and Meals on Wheels. And we have ramped that up to 3,700 delivered meals just last week. Um, we have people throughout the community, not only county and city staff and village staff, um, but volunteers and nonprofit organizations coming together um, in, a, in a manner that makes me incredibly proud. Um, this community is looking out for each other and we're gonna weather this together and for that. The, people are still gonna be able to drive, grocery stores are gonna be open. Are sheriff's deputies gonna stop anybody patrolling this? No, I mean, people are not gonna be pulled over and asked what they're doing. Um, we, we think most people um, you know, wanna, wanna take part in social distancing and do what they can to get ahead of this. So what I think is important for folks to know though, is that even with the governor's more extensive orders, you can still go to the grocery store. You can still go to the pharmacy. You can still get your, your furnace fixed if it breaks down. So really what this just means is no more group gatherings. It means we want people to stay at home as much as possible. And only people who have what are essential service um, delivery jobs are going to be going to work and even at those places we want people to achieve social distancing all right uh joe we're going to have you hang on for a little bit okay. we're going to take a quick break and we'll have more questions with the dane county executive after this